Hello guys, in this video, we will solve the eighth question that is find the change in the sign of the following expression and the extreme value of this two equation. As the first equation given is x square minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. From this, the value of a is 1 that is greater than 0 a is the coefficient of x square and b that is b square minus 4ac is 1 as greater as a, a value is greater than 0 and the determinant value is also greater than 0 we will get the graph of that expression like this from which from this alpha and beta are the roots and the and this expression will be positive if the if the values of x lie in this region or in this region and negative if the values of x lie in this region now if let us find the value of alpha and beta so on finding the roots of this given equation we find the roots using the formula minus b plus r minus under root of b square minus 4 ac by 2a so on finding the roots we will get two roots the first will be the 2 and the second will be the 3 so we got the values of alpha as 2 and beta as 3 the so the given expression will be positive if x belongs to minus infinity comma 2 or union 3 comma minus infinity that is the graph will be like this and positive if the values of x lies lies in this region or in this region and negative and the it, and the expression will be negative if the values of x lies lie in this region that is if x belongs to 2 comma 3 then the expression will be negative now 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 let us find the extreme values extreme value is nothing but minimum value or maximum value if the value of a is greater than 0 then the expression will have the minimum value and if the value of a is less than 0 that is negative then the expression will have the maximum value now in our question the value of a is 1 which is greater than 0 therefore it, it will have a positive value as since the value of a is greater than 0 the minimum value of the expression is we find the minimum or maximum value using the formula 4ac minus b square divided by 4a so from this the, the value of a is 1 b is minus 5 and c is 6 so on substituting a b and c values we will get 4 into 1 into c is 6 minus b is minus 5 square divided by 4 into a is 1 that is that is 4 into 1 so 4 into 6 will become 24 and minus 5 whole square will become 25 now this will be minus 1 by 4 therefore the the expression will be positive if x values belongs to this and negative if x belongs to this and the extreme value is minus 1 by 4 now now let us solve the second equation the second equation says that 15 plus 4x minus 3x square here the value of a is minus 3 which is less than 0 and determinant value is 196 which is positive 
if the value of a is negative and then is positive then the graph of that expression will be like this here alpha and beta are the roots and and if the values of x lie in this region or in this region the it, the expression will be negative and if the values of x lie in this region then the value then the value of x will be positive now let us find the value of alpha and beta so on finding the root on finding the roots of that given equation using the formula minus b plus r minus under root of b square minus 4ac by 2a on solving that we will get two roots that is minus 5 divided by 2 comma 3 by 2 now the now the given the expression will be negative for x belongs to minus infinity comma minus 5 by 2 union 3 comma infinity so this is the values of x for which the so this will be the value of x for which the expression will be negative now the the expression will be positive if the values of if the value of x lie in between minus 5 divided by 3 and 3 um, now let now let us find the extreme value as the as from the given equation the value of a is minus 3 which is negative therefore the expression will have a maximum value so the maximum value of the expression is so as we find you using the formula 4ac minus b square divided by 4a so from that given equation a value is minus 3 b is 4 and c is 15 on substituting a b c values we will get the extreme value or maximum value as 49 by 3 thank you